Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another lecture. Uh, this is lesson seven called Multiplying Polynomials. We're gonna be taking monomials, binomials, trinomials, multiplying them all together and expanding them, simplifying them. It might not look simpler, but it is. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, we're going to use the distributive property, which is essentially a version of foiling. If you are decent at foiling, uh, binomials, this will be absolutely no problem um, for you. You're essentially going to multiply every term in one bracket by every term in another bracket. Um, that's all there is to it. Let's jump right in. Let's do 3x plus 4 and x squared minus 2x minus 7. So essentially what we'll do is we'll take 3x and we'll multiply, multiply it by all three of these We'll take 4 and we'll multiply it by all three of these, like this. For 3x and like this, for 4. Um, here we go. So 3x times x squared is 3x cubed. 3x times negative 2x is negative 6x. 3x times minus 7. It's minus 21x. Uh, I guess I should have, sorry, an x squared here. x times x is x squared. We'll do the bottom part, or the second part. 4 times x squared is plus 4x squared. 4 times negative 2 is minus 8x. And 4 times minus 7 is minus 28. We are then going to combine like terms so that we are simplifying. So this is the expanding portion, now we need to simplify. This is the only x cubed we have, so we're going to keep it, 3x cubed. We have these two x squareds, so we'll add those together, uh, gets us minus 2x squared. We have these x's, minus 8 and minus 21, that's minus 29x, and then minus 28 is all by itself. So this is our expanded and simplified version of the brackets up top. Let's do the one to its right. We have 3 times c minus 3 times minus 3c plus 1. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this 3 using the distributive property into this set of brackets. So 3 times c and 3 times minus 3. That would get us 3c minus 9 and then minus 3c plus 1. I can now FOIL it like I usually would with any other binomial. 3c times minus 3c is minus 9c squared. 3c plus 1 is 3c. Minus 9 times minus 3 is positive 27c. And then minus 9 and plus 1 multiplied together is minus 9. We're going to combine our like terms in the middle, plus 3 and plus 27. Get minus 9c plus 30c minus 9. That is your expanded and simplified answer. Let's do the one below it. So we've got 2t squared plus 4t minus 3 and 5t squared minus 2t plus 1. So we're going to take the first term and multiply it by all three of these. Second term by all three of these. Third term by all three of these. We're gonna end up with nine terms then. So I'm going to hopefully fit it in. Who knows? We'll give it a try. Uh, 2t squared times 5t squared, that's 10t to the power of four. 2t squared times minus 2t is minus four t to the power of three. 2t squared times plus one is plus 2t squared. We've done that for the first term. Let's do the second term. 4t times 5t squared, that is plus 20t to the power of 3. 4t times minus 2t is minus 8t to the power of 2. 4t times 1 is plus 4t. Let's do the last one now. I'm going to go underneath it because I seem to have run out of room. Minus 15t squared plus 6t minus 3. I'm now going to combine all my like terms and I'm glad I have a bunch of different colors so I can circle all these here. So, um, t to the power of 3 
and t to the power of 3 are going to be combined together. t to the power of 2, t to the power of 2, t to the power of 2 are going to be combined together. And then regular t's are going to be combined together as well. That leaves us 10 t to the power of 4 plus 16 t to the power of 3. We have minus 15 minus 8, that's minus 23, plus 2 is minus 21, t to the power of 2. Plus 4 plus 6 is plus 10t minus 3. There's our expanded and simplified version um, of the two trinomials given above. If you have questions, Email me, leave them in the comments when you see me. Definitely ask. Let's, ooh, I should scroll down, sorry. That was that one right there. Now we're on to the last one on this um, lesson in your booklet here. So we've got 3x plus y minus 1. We've got 2x minus 4. And then I've got subtract. Now, since this whole thing is squared, the entire um, second part is squared. That's like saying 3x plus 2y multiplied by itself. 3x plus 2y. It's very common to just square both um, things in the brackets, but unfortunately, that will not work uh, for you. That will not get you the correct answer. You need to actually write it out and then FOIL it. Um, so let's get right into it here. Uh, 3x times 2x, that's 6x squared. And then 3x times minus 4 is minus 12x. y times 2x is plus 2xy. y times minus 4 is minus 4y. Minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x. Minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. We are then going to subtract this entire thing here. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Um, we are going to have 3x times 2y. That's 6xy, and we're doing it twice. So plus 12xy, and then plus 2y times 2y is 4y squared. Since this negative is through the entire brackets, that changes the sign for all of these. So um, we would need to rewrite that. I'm going to, yeah, I'll do it in blue. Let's see if I can make it all in one this time. This is 6x squared minus 12x plus 2xy minus 4y minus 2x plus 4 minus 9x squared minus 12xy minus 4y squared. We apply that negative. Oh, you're missing a little bit there. I'll move it up. We apply that negative through to all of those um, values in the brackets. I am now going to use different colored markers to combine like terms. Uh, let's see, we have an x here. We have x's here. I have an x here. That is all the x's. Let's see, I've got just x squared, just y squared. I've got xy, I've got xy. And then I have I think that's it, because this is just y. Yes. So now I can combine my like terms. 6x squared um, minus 12x minus 9x, so that's minus 21x, minus 4y, just for that term, um, minus 4y squared for this term. Let's see, we've got. 2xy minus 12xy, that's minus 10xy, and then plus 4. So any order in which you write those would be totally fine if the x squared is at the back, um, or the, you know, the xy is in the middle here, definitely doesn't matter. Um, but that is the answer that we're looking for, um, for simplifying, uh, expanding and simplifying the problem given. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I hope to see you soon.